first part about this song is a little three note intro. That's gonna be C, D flat, A flat. And then after that, that's when the actual song starts on one octave above the rest of the song. So that's going to go. Your left hand is going to play B flat, A flat, G flat. And every time you go from this B flat to the A flat to the G flat, you're going to be playing on your right hand D flat, C, A flat. So, and on the last chord, the G flat, all you do is tap the D flat. So, just that first part. If you want to, you can end on this B flat. I've seen Ryan Manette do this um, live a couple times. But either one works, whether it's the B flat or the D flat. It's up to you. And then when you're done with that, you tap D flat down here. So you just go from here to this one. And then the beginning of the second part is F, A flat, D flat. And then right after you play this, your left hand is going to tap E flat. So right now you have And this right here is the run that's probably the most difficult of the song. It's not that difficult, but it's, you know. It's that. So right after you tap this E flat, you're going to go D flat, E flat, F, wait. Okay, yeah, sorry. D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, D flat. So. And then your last chord is going to be B on your left hand. And then E flat, G flat, and then B flat, and then you just repeat. So this is the this is the first part of the song before the first chord, not the first chorus, before the first verse starts. This is how the song begins up here. hits it's pretty much the exact same thing you just played up here down here now I'm going to show you the only difference is that it's a little bit easier the run isn't the same so it goes so all you do here is after you tap this E flat you hit E flat on your right hand G flat and then D flat, and then you go back to this B chord, the B major chord. So one more time. Now for me, I don't know exactly when he does each one. I just go back and forth. If I'm performing this with somebody, I'll do the run half the time. I'll do, you know, the other half. That is actually the entire song right there. That's all you need to know. A um, couple little things that I do differently. I go like this. So instead of hitting F, A flat, 
D flat. I hit I hit um F G flat um D flat. I don't know why, it just sounds a little bit more, I don't know, I guess melancholy would be the word. I mean, it is a pretty sad song, all in all, but the way that it comes, the way that the song is played in the actual song itself is F, A flat, D flat, but I like that instead. It's up to you, whichever one you guys want. And one more thing, I saw um, Brian McKnight do this when he plays it live, he'll go... Oh, there's this little, um, little switch between, instead of hitting this um, D, fl D flat up here, you just end on the B flat, so. But all together, it's pretty much the same. And that's actually everything, yeah, that right there is, that's everything. I'm done. Don't worry. Um, this is, in my opinion, a relatively easy song. It's a really good song because the bridge, everything like that, it just continues on all the way through. So whether you're going to play this, because I play a lot of like dinner parties and banquets, this is one song that you can really play for like 10 minutes and just keep repeating it. And people will just continue to love it because, you know, it's one of those classic songs. Um, I'm gonna try to keep coming out with videos like this because I have some people who wanna learn new stuff, some people wanna learn old stuff, so like you guys saw, I have that somewhere in America, and I also have this. So if you guys wanna learn any new songs, any old songs, any throwback songs, whatever you guys want, hit me up in the comments, let me know.